nature, a realm of beauty and wonder, yet fraught with mysteries that baffle even the brightest minds. In every corner of our world there are phenomena that leave us awestruck, phenomena that are so strange, so extraordinary, they seem to defy logic and scientific explanation. Take a moment to imagine a world where the impossible becomes possible, where the ordinary transforms into the extraordinary. That's the enigma of nature, a world where the familiar becomes unfamiliar and the understood becomes unexplained. It's a world that challenges our perceptions and pushes the boundaries of our understanding. From forests that dance to stones that sail, from waterfalls that bleed to storms that never end, and lakes that vanish without a trace, our planet is a treasure trove of mysteries waiting to be discovered. These are not tales spun from the loom of fantasy, but real, tangible phenomena that exist in our world. Phenomena that, despite extensive research, remain largely unexplained. These mysteries are not just puzzles for scientists to solve, they are reminders of the vastness and complexity of the world we inhabit. They underscore the fact that, no matter how much we learn, no matter how far we advance, there will always be more to discover, more to understand. These phenomena, shrouded in mystery, have the power to captivate and inspire. They kindle our curiosity, fuel our imagination, and ignite a sense of wonder. They remind us of the beauty and the enigma that is nature, a world that is as fascinating as it is mysterious. And as we delve into these mysteries, we embark on a journey of discovery, a journey that takes us to the farthest corners of our world, to places where nature's mysteries are the most profound, a journey that challenges our perceptions and broadens our horizons. So, brace yourself as we dive into the world's most mysterious natural occurrences. Are you ready? Imagine a forest where trees twist and turn into bizarre shapes, seemingly dancing. Welcome to the dancing forest of Russia. Nestled in the heart of Russia's Curonian spit, this whimsical forest paints an otherworldly picture. Here, the trees contort and bend in ways that defy logic and botany alike. They spiral towards the sky, loop in circles, and form peculiar figures that evoke images of dancers frozen mid-twirl. The dancing forest, locally known as the Drunken Forest, owes its name to these strange gyrating formations. Each tree, regardless of its species, seems to sway to an unheard rhythm, creating a spectacle that both baffles and mesmerizes. So what makes these trees dance? Well, that's where the mystery lies. The forest's peculiar characteristics have intrigued scientists and visitors for decades. Various theories have been proposed attempting to explain this botanical ballet. One theory suggests that powerful winds sweeping across the Curonian spit have shaped these arboreal acrobats. Yet other forests in the region exposed to the same winds remain unaffected, their trees standing straight and tall. Another hypothesis points to the unstable, shifting sands of the spit. Over time, the movement of the soil could have caused the trees to grow in these unusual, twisting forms. But again, other forests on similar terrains don't display these dancing traits. Some locals even whisper of ancient legends, mystical energies, and unseen forces attributing the forest's strange dance to the supernatural. But of course, these tales are just that. Tales. The truth is, despite all these theories, none have been definitively proven. The dancing forest with its twirling trees remains an unsolved enigma. It is a testament to the mysteries that nature harbors, a puzzle waiting to be solved. The dancing forest continues to sway in its enigmatic dance, leaving us to marvel at its peculiar beauty. Rocks that move on their own? Meet the sailing stones of Death Valley. In the heart of California's arid Death Valley, a peculiar phenomenon has been confounding observers for decades. Scattered across the flat, dry surface of racetrack playa, large rocks, some weighing up to 700 pounds, are found with long trails etched into the cracked mud behind them. These are the sailing stones, and their inexplicable movement across the desert floor without any discernible human or animal intervention has sparked many a debate and countless scientific investigations. Now, you might be thinking, surely there's a simple explanation. Maybe the wind is pushing them, or perhaps it's a prank by some mischievous locals. But remember, we're talking about rocks that can weigh as much as a small horse, 
and there's no evidence of any machinery or tools being used. For many years, theories have abounded. Some suggested that strong winds commonly occurring in Death Valley could be responsible. Others hypothesized that ice shoving might be the culprit, where thin sheets of ice formed around the rocks could carry them across the desert floor when propelled by the wind. However, despite all the theories and extensive studies, there is still no definitive answer. Even when researchers installed GPS devices on the stones and monitored them for several years, the rocks moved, but no one saw them in action. The results were intriguing, but they did not provide a conclusive explanation. So the mystery endures. The sailing stones of Death Valley continue their silent journey across the desert, leaving behind trails that serve as the only testament to their inexplicable voyage. Each stone charts its own course, seemingly unaffected by the tracks of others, with some even making sharp turns or reversing their direction. The stone's silent march across the desert is a humbling reminder of the many enigmas that nature presents us. These unexplained phenomena stir our curiosity, challenge our understanding of the world, and remind us that there are still mysteries waiting to be unraveled. As we leave Death Valley, we carry with us the image of stone sailing across the desert, a mystery as yet unsolved. In the icy wilderness of Antarctica, a waterfall runs red. Welcome to the Blood Falls. This startling sight, a crimson cascade in a world of white, is one of nature's most dramatic contrasts. Yet it is as much a mystery as it is a spectacle. The Blood Falls, named for their unsettling hue, flow from the Taylor Glacier. Their eerie appearance is a stark departure from the surrounding ice, a chilling landscape usually associated with purity and a pristine blue-white palette. Here, instead, we find a rivulet of red, as if the glacier itself is bleeding. The prevailing theory for this disconcerting phenomenon suggests that iron-rich salt water is responsible for the waterfall's color. As the theory goes, the water seeps out from an ancient, saline lake trapped beneath the glacier. When this water comes into contact with the air, the iron within it oxidizes, essentially rusting on contact, and turns the water a deep blood red. But this explanation, while plausible, doesn't fully unravel the mystery of the blood falls. If the water is indeed seeping out from beneath the glacier, how is it that it doesn't freeze in the sub-zero temperatures of the Antarctic? And why does it flow intermittently, instead of at a constant rate? Scientists have proposed various theories to address these questions, but none have been proven definitively. Some suggest that a unique form of microbial life, adapted to the extreme conditions, may play a role. Others posit that the salt content of the water lowers its freezing point, allowing it to flow despite the cold. Yet even as we attempt to decipher this enigma, the blood falls retain their sense of mystery. They serve as a stark reminder that our planet, despite our best efforts to understand it, still harbors secrets deep within its icy heart. As we depart from the chilling spectacle of the Blood Falls, we're left with an unsolved mystery that continues to perplex scientists. A storm that never ends, enter the everlasting lightning storm of Venezuela. In the heart of South America, there exists an electrifying enigma that has baffled scientists for centuries. Nestled between the Catatumbo River and Lake Maracaibo, a storm rages. But this is no ordinary storm. This storm is an everlasting spectacle of sound and light. A tempest that dances across the night sky almost every single night of the year. It's known as the Catatumbo Lightning. This phenomenon is a true testament to the power and mystery of nature. More than one and a half kilometers above the water's surface, the night sky ignites with an average of 280 lightning bolts every hour. That's more than four lightning bolts per minute. Imagine that, a lightning show that lasts for up to 10 hours straight, nearly every single night. But why does this happen? What fuels this relentless storm? Some theories suggest it could be the methane from the local oil fields. Methane is a potent greenhouse gas that's known to cause intense and frequent lightning when mixed with storm clouds. But here's the twist. While there's no denying that methane may play a part, it doesn't fully explain the storm's persistence. The exact cause of the Catatumbo lightning remains an unsolved mystery. Some scientists argue that it's the unique topography of the region, with warm winds from the Caribbean Sea colliding with cooler air from the Andes. 
Others believe it's the abundance of ionized gases. The truth is, we simply don't know. What we do know is that this storm is one of the most spectacular natural light shows on Earth. It's even visible from space, a cosmic beacon that's guided sailors for centuries. As we step away from the ceaseless storm, we're reminded of nature's capacity to astonish and confound us. The Catatumbo Lightning, a testament to the enigma that is our world, continues to light up the night sky, an everlasting lightning storm that remains as mesmerizing as it is mysterious. A lake that disappears and reappears at will? That's Oregon's Lost Lake. Picture this, a lush, tranquil body of water nestled within Oregon's dense forest, a haven for wildlife and a spectacle for the human eye, and then... It's gone. Every winter, as if by magic, Lost Lake vanishes, leaving behind an eerie, barren landscape that once rippled with life. But come spring, the lake reappears, restoring its captivating charm. So, what's the trick behind this mystifying act of nature? Well, the primary suspect is a network of lava tubes beneath the lake. These natural conduits, formed by cooling lava, provide a hidden pathway for the lake's water to drain away, akin to pulling the plug on a giant outdoor bathtub. But here's where the mystery deepens. While these lava tubes provide a reasonable explanation for the lake's winter disappearance, they don't fully answer the question of why the lake returns each spring. The tubes are there year-round, so why doesn't the lake just drain away and stay away? Some hypothesize that the lake's seasonal re-emergence is due to increased rainfall in the spring, replenishing the water faster than it can drain. Others suggest that freezing winter temperatures may somehow plug the lava tubes, allowing the lake to refill. But these are just theories, and none have been proven conclusively. The truth is, the precise cause of Lost Lake's cyclical vanishing act remains a puzzle. It's a perplexing riddle that continues to baffle scientists and captivate those who witness its remarkable transformation. As we grapple with this enigma, we're reminded of the humbling power and unpredictability of nature. It's a testament to the fact that despite our scientific advancements, there are still natural phenomena that elude our understanding. As we leave the elusive lost lake, we're reminded of the enduring mysteries that nature presents us. Nature, a realm of boundless mysteries, continues to astound us with its enigmatic phenomena. As we draw this journey to a close, let's take a moment to reflect on the extraordinary natural phenomena we've delved into. Each one, a testament to the unending wonders our world has to offer. Each one, a riddle yet to be fully unraveled. We started our journey in the enigmatic dancing forest of Russia. A spectacle where the trees twist and turn in unexplainable ways, bending and coiling like serpents creating an eerie yet captivating spectacle. Despite various theories, the cause of this arboreal ballet remains largely unknown, making the dancing forest a fascinating enigma. Then we ventured into the desolate Death Valley where stones take on a life of their own. The sailing stones, with no human or animal intervention, glide across the dry lake bed, leaving trails in their wake. Even with scientific attempts to explain this phenomenon, there's still an element of mystery that keeps us fascinated. From the scorching heat of Death Valley, we found ourselves in the bone-chilling cold of Antarctica, home to the Blood Falls, the startling crimson waterfall. A stark contrast against the pristine white ice is a sight that challenges our understanding. Although scientists attribute the red color to iron-rich brine, the phenomenon's full explanation remains elusive. Next, we marveled at the everlasting lightning storm of Venezuela, a place where the sky is set ablaze almost every night. This relentless natural light show with its countless lightning bolts is a spectacle that defies our understanding of weather patterns. The consistency of these storms in the same place at the same time is a puzzle that continues to baffle scientists. Finally, we visited the disappearing Lake of Oregon, a lake that vanishes and reappears with the changing seasons. While the lake's disappearance can be partially explained by the porous volcanic landscape, the exact mechanics of this vanishing act are still shrouded in mystery. Each of these phenomena, unique in their own right, reminds us of the countless mysteries that lie within nature's realm. They challenge our understanding, 
defy our explanations and keep us in a state of perpetual wonder. They remind us that, despite our advances in science and technology, there are still aspects of our world that we are yet to comprehend fully. So, as we part ways, let's not forget these mysteries. Let's keep our minds open to the wonders that surround us, and let's continue to seek answers even when they seem elusive. After all, it's in the quest for understanding that we truly appreciate the beauty and complexity of our world. As we part ways, let us carry with us a renewed sense of awe and respect for the mysteries and wonders of our natural world.